98 Mallard here at Haylitz, and I tell you what, 98, she's in good shape. But then again, that's kind of what a Mallard was all about. They weren't fancy, they weren't flashy. It was a rock solid, well built box that performed well for people over long periods of time to the point that as a 98, we still get a bunch of these on trade. We get a bunch of late 90s and early 2000s uh, Fleetwoods, specifically these Mallards on trade every year. I, uh, I don't know what it is. People just seem to either take care of these, they were built right. Um, you know, you can see by the color banding on the side they were using good materials because a lot of uh, the decals on today's trailer seem to sun peel very quickly. I don't see that on a lot of these Mallards. They, uh, they weren't, like I said, they weren't flashy. But man, they were built right, and they held together, and they continue to hold together. Um, really, I mean, all in all, pretty darn clean. The skin looks good. I don't see where it's been real hard sun faded. Again, your, uh, your graphics and decals, I couldn't ask them to be better on a 98. Holy cow. Um, you know, I don't see anywhere where it's been, like, bumped into something or the corner's been crushed into something. I don't see anywhere where there's been any leaks. I do see a couple places with some peeled wallpaper off the wall boards inside. That's a uh, humidity item, depending on how an RV is stored sometimes. Older campers have been known to do that. Uh, but it's those little things I wanted to, to show you in this video here. Um, you know, this is just a, a no-nonsense little camper. It's not a big fancy, um, and it's, I guess it's a camper in that it's simple rather than an RV, you know, in that it doesn't have like a, uh, a fireplace and, hey, uh, uh, power ceiling fan, stuff like that, you know, like residential ceiling fan. One of the things I like about this, this is a little family bunkhouse. Um, but it does still have a private front bedroom, and it's Fleetwood was so far, you know, ahead of everybody on their uh, floor plan designs for so long. Um, when Fleetwood was privately held at one point, they controlled 75% of the RV industry, towable, motorized, everything. They were the kings of camping, um, and then uh, they uh, went publicly traded, which there's nothing wrong with being publicly traded. But the uh, shareholders wanted better profit margins. They wanted cheaper trailers. And the president of the company said, no, no, no. I go camping. You don't. You need to listen to me. I know what people want. And uh, over time, he just got tired of fighting with them. He cashed in his chips. Um, and I think it was two or three years later, Fleetwood went broke and was bought by Forest River. Um, you know, so it's, it's kind of funny how that works. Um, you take a guy who actually goes camping and knows camping and look what he comes up with. Like this big giant closet. The storage in your old Fleetwoods were tremendous. Um, you know, and also things like big windows before a lot of people were doing big windows. Because windows are expensive, but the guy understood that when you're camping, you don't always want to run the lights because you can kill your battery and you don't want to run your AC full time. So you want that cross breeze, you know. Um, bathroom here, pretty simple, but effective. Not much more you can want out of a bathroom couple little single bunks. This was made way before the day and age of these big double over double bunk houses that are so popular now. Um, I do like the little shelf above the fridge there. Nice little bread box type place right up there. Good kitchen space. We got some nice drawer space over here. Um, the counter space is kind of minimal, but with the folding stove cover and a little um, sink cover slash cutting board right there, You've got some good sink space. Not to mention, that's an oversized sink. That's a double extra large sink basin. And lots of windows everywhere. And considering this is a no-slide trailer, it's going to uh, not weigh a lot as compared to a lot of other uh, trailers. You know, slide-outs had a ton of weight. They had space, but they had weight, too. Um, and I tell you, really, being that the, the trailer's uh, about a good 30 feet, you've got a lot of space in here still. Now, this is one of those areas I wanted to show you. This is not water damage, this is wallpaper peel. And I can show you that because you can slap on it and still solid wood underneath. Um, humidity would kind of come in or maybe moisture from the air outside if this window was open when someone was sleeping. And it would uh, it would just kind of pool up in this corner and curl that paper. It's unfortunate, it's, it's a fairly common thing though. And actually you'll see it in a couple corners here. And again, that's all it is, is just wallpaper peel. Um, it's a, uh, an old thing that people had seen for years. And once again, you know, it's re that, that wood's still good up there. There's nothing wrong with the wood. It's just a little, little contact paper slip off. Kind of like, kind of like peeling a stamp. If you want to peel a stamp off an envelope, you steam it for a while and it peels right off. Exact same concept. So there you go. Um, really <laughs> very clean, very good shape for a 98. I'm very impressed. So 800, 256, 5196. Halid RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Take care. Stay safe. Happy camping.